Today installing the uh, HRV. This is what they call a wall stack. It goes down between inside of a two by four wall and then into the ducting that goes to the unit. Pretty straightforward is how this stuff goes in. You have a HRV and this is your unit right here. What happens is it has a duct that goes to the outside. This is fresh air. And you have a duct that goes to the outside and this is stale air and then you have your supply and returns that go to the house. I'm going to say these blocks are rooms. What happens is you have a return and we'll say this is a bath and this is a kitchen. Those typically uh, mud rooms, bathroom, kitchen, things that are high in uh, moisture um, those are your returns and so it comes out of the HRV and it ties in there and it will also come over and tie in air here and then you have supplies which will come here with the supply it'll come over here and then it might tee off and go to here which this might be your bedroom and this might be a living room this would be your supply and your return for the house so what happens is this, these two rooms are constantly sucking air through the unit and what they're doing is they're taking the moist air that's in your house and they take it to the HRV and they exchange it with the fresh air coming in and so it mixes and so it sends all the bad air and high moisture content air out to the outside and then the supplies it takes in uh, the fresh air and mixes and it comes in to the supplies and it feeds air into the bedrooms and the living room. And so with this happening is you get cold air outside, hot air inside, and it makes warm air and then you're also you're exchanging it for fresh air. Basically removing stale moist air out of the house and you know not blasting cold air into your house. And then it also pushes air through your house so air coming into your living room will then return and go to the bath and then get sucked out. So you have this constant circling of, uh, of fresh air running throughout your house. That's what an HRV does. So it's a heat recovery ventilation and basically it controls um, fresh air in the house and also uh, controls humidity. HRV also tries to recover as much warm air as possible so you're not just blasting in hot air outside and cold. So it's, it's kind of a mixture of trying to save energy at the same time. So what we did on this house, and uh, we've done it on a different project, is there's a uh, contractor in Fairbanks and he supplies a DIY kit for HRVs. He came down, dropped off all the pieces and parts that we need to rough in all the ducting for all the, um, the HRV itself. With this being a timber frame house, uh, utilities are, they become just a little more complex. You know, it's not like a house where you just have stick frame walls and then uh, sub floor and you can kind of bury everything in there. You kind of have to think about how you're going to put things in here. So um, with the HRV, there was a little more thought on how things had to be run. Obviously, we had to leave the upstairs floor open without subfloor on it so we could run all our utilities first. Otherwise, in a normal house build, you would actually just sheet right over top of it and then you'd put your utilities in from uh, down below. So to, to simplify the process of installing the HRV, you had to know where all the wall ducts and the supply and returns had to go inside the rooms and the wall duct goes down through a 2 by 4 wall. But to make this happen, we had to cut it out with some uh, hole saws. So then you just go ahead and sawzaw that out. It doesn't have to be perfect, that, that duct will go in there. So duct work, they make this so work that it can fit inside of a wall cavity so then you can just sheetrock right over top of it. This is six inch duct, so um, in the oval it'll still have the same amount of uh, CFM cubic feet per minute of air movement that it'll still be able to move. This matches up with six inch round pipe, which would be downstairs, which you run in all the joists. When we go ahead and put this in the wall, we're gonna cut it to length, and then uh, we'll go ahead and snap this together, and it's just like stove pipe or, or ducting, and it just snaps in place. When you're running this ducting, is real important is making sure that all your seams are taped off. This is basically just a foil tape. What happens is uh, now when you're starting to 
suck air or blow air um, into the supplier of the return. You're not sucking air in through the wall cavities or anything um, in through the seams or down below there could be a, a, a 90 you know, losing air. So it's a completely sealed air duct and that way you can control it at the end. There's these diffusers they call at the end and you can control the diffusers to um, take only so much air so you can balance the system. Now we're in the basement where, where the uh, actual HRV unit's going to be and we had to have a starting point. So you can see here we have this it is uh, going to be the return line. The unit itself will be over here and this will be the return. And as you can see we ran six inch ducting in the floor. Then we go over here and the wall ducts that are upstairs, they go through the floor right here. So the things that we chunked out um, on the uh, bottom plates those go upstairs and they either they either draw the air from uh, the bathroom or their supply. This is nothing but a simple wall boot. So transitions from six inch pipe to an oval, which we go up through the walls with. Another thing that the HRB system does, like we have a wood stove at our house, you can put it on reser. And basically it just moves air throughout each room in the house. And that's kind of nice, just being able to turn on reser mode if you just want to move some hot air around the house. The other thing that the HRB does is in all the bathrooms, um, there's a little button that you put on the wall and it's got a 20, 40, and a 60 minute timer on it. And so let's say you used to walk into the bathroom and you know that you're going to take a shower. Um, so you can go in there, push the button once, and that HRV will turn on for 20 minutes. It'll take the moisture air that's in the bathroom and just take it outside, or stinky air, I guess. Uh, you know, working with uh, this contractor in Fairbanks that does the DIY kit, you know, it's, it led us to uh, save thousands of dollars in installing this um, HRV. Yeah, it's awesome. We're really thankful to be able to do the work ourselves, but since we don't have a lot of experience with HRV to lean on somebody that did have the experience, this is really a win-win. Um, we're really happy with how it turned out, and um, we're on to the next project. Yep, next one. Here we come. Back to work. Child. All right, guys. Like a couple seconds. Tone her down a notch. Controls. Humidity. Did I spell that right? How do you spell humidity, honey? H-U-M-I-D-I-T-Y. Oh, you're missing a ditty. Ditty. All right, well, now that we got humidity spelled right, it also controls humidity in the house. That was awesome.